If you have two points, let's call them A and B, somewhere in a coordinate plane. And we call A x1 and y1, so those, that's the ordered pair at A, and we say B has the ordered pair x2 and y2. We can calculate the direct straight line distance between them using what we know about the Pythagorean theorem. Well, you might say, Mr. McCall, how are we going to use a Pythagorean theorem on a line that's diagonal like that? You don't even have a triangle. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in one leg of that triangle that's going to be parallel to my x-axis, and I'm going to draw in another leg of that triangle, which is parallel to the y-axis. And I know that the x-axis and the y-axis are perpendicular to each other, which means that this must be a right triangle. If we want to find out the distance between A and B, first we need to say, well, what are the lengths of my legs? The reason why that's important is because we're going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is going to be one of my legs, and let's call it the leg that's parallel to the x-axis. Well, this point right here is going to be the point, not x1, but it's going to be x2 and y1. Because notice, the only thing that's changed from A to this corner is my value of x. If these two lines are parallel, then y1 will stay the same. So if I want to find the distance between these two, all I need to do is subtract my x's. So this distance is x2 minus x1. That difference will tell me how far away those points are. So I'm going to say that A is x2 minus x1. If I find B, B is going to be the other leg of this triangle. So just like I said that this horizontal distance was the difference of our x's, the vertical distance will be the difference of our y's. So this will be y2 minus y1. So b is going to equal y2 minus y1. And the hypotenuse c we could say is d, our distance. Or I guess if you wanted to you could say that this is line segment ab. Either way, you're trying to find your hypotenuse here. So let's substitute in what we know. Well we said, <clears throat> if I use a different marker, we said that we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, and a is x2 minus x1. So I'm going to say that we have x2 minus x1 squared. So all I'm doing is substituting in here. b, we said, was y2 minus y1. So we're going to add y2 minus y1 squared. And c, we said, is our distance, ab. And that's going to be squared. So if you want to know the square of the distance, in your coordinate plane, you're going to subtract your x's, square them, subtract your y's, square them, and then add them up. Well, that's not quite useful, so we're going to take the square root of both sides because the square of a distance doesn't help me that much. So I'm going to say that the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is equal to this distance ab. And voila, we have our distance formula. So the distance between any two points in space is going to be the difference of your x's squared plus the difference of your y's squared. Now some of you might be thinking, Mr. McCall, I know that the square root of something squared is whatever that base term is. Now you cannot say that either of these squares are going to come out. The reason is that we have this expression by this plus sign. So if this whole thing was being squared, then yes, something could come out of this square root. But since we have this plus sign, it's going to stay the way this is. So the keys to using this formula are subtracting your x's, subtracting your y's, squaring those, and then taking the square root. We got this formula by using the Pythagorean theorem.